Oh yeah, it was. I was. I was. I was so pissed. I mean, because not only did I, I I have the show, but w when I went there, um, everything was going good, and uh, I invited uh, Barry Diller to to. To, at Fox, he was the head of Fox at the time. I would throw a party for the entire cast, the crew, everyone at Fox, and it, they all showed up. And you know, I had, I showcased a bunch of my friends so they could get jobs. And uh, Barry Diller goes, "You've really done a great job for us." I said, "I really love you know working with you, Mr. Diller." He said, "Okay." So later in the night, this uh, this Asian man came up to me. He goes, "You know, everyone likes you, but I don't get it." And I said, well, stick around, Hop Singh. You'll catch on. <laughs> and I didn't think anything of it. The next morning, I had just, they had given me like a million-dollar bonus, and they raised my uh, my weekly salary. I mean, it was a lot of money. It was like over $2 million bucks. And I was going to Dallas to do the, ta the Texas State Fair with one of the Mandrell sisters, not, not uh, Earlene or the other one, just some crazy name. And I land in Dallas, and he calls me. He says, I got good news and bad news. I said, give me the bad news. He goes, did you have a problem with a Chinese guy last night? I said, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess. Well, that's Barry Dillis, right here, man. You're done. They, they, they threw you off the lot. They said, I said, what's the good news? He said, we got your money. And I go, I, I, I want my job. I said, let me apologize to the guy. I, I didn't mean it. I didn't know. And they go, no, they've already taken all the stuff out of your office and put it in boxes, wow. and, and you're, you're done. And now I do the state fair. And I'm going, man, this this sucks. You know, I mean, I want to get back to L.A. to try and salvage, you know, the career, you know, because, I mean, this is another <laughs> network that I'm no longer welcome at. Just uh, from one conversation. One co oh, I've, I've got stories. Of, I wish I'd never opened my mouth. I mean, I've, I've screwed. <laughs> yeah, no one has, has fucked up my life more than myself. And uh, unintentional, you know. Right. So uh, we're, we're doing the state fair, and this horse with a buckboard, goes out of control and the horse is swinging and the buckboard's coming towards the reviewing stand so I grabbed the, the Mandrell girl <laughs> and get her out of it just as the whole thing is wiped out and I'm saying did you get that did they get that on tape you know but that was uh, that was the end of my career at Fox that's now, crazy from one conversation where a guy said he didn't like you how about this how about when I'm I'm at I have Lenny at CBS, and it was doing good. And then, the, of course, the Gulf War came out. That, that, that killed me. And then they brought me back, and we were hanging on by a thread. And they said, listen, forget about the show. We think you're a great actor. Let's give you a, a movie deal. And I went, really? He says, yeah, we're going to give you the first picture $2 million, and then the, the next picture would be, uh, uh, no, first a million, and then $2 million, and then $2 million, $5 million, three-picture deal. I'm going, you know, I'm, I can't believe this happened. Is that one question? Can you act? And I said, hey, I'm making believe I'm having fun with you, aren't I? Get out. I went, hey, man, I was only kidding. That was that was pretty good. Get out. And I and I go, I just cost myself $5 million. Just oh. by being funny. And, and, it, and I said, I'll never do that again. So... I read, I, 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 like that's going to happen, right? So, wait, joke, gets better. I read for this movie, True Romance, you know? Oh, yeah. Remember that movie? I was, so, I mean, I get I get clean, I get straight, I, I work on the lines, I'm ready. So I go over, and it's Ridley Scott or his brother, one of the famous Scott directors, and a kid comes out, I say, how many people in there? He goes, 13. I say, because I always like to know how many are in the room, because you don't want to go in there. So I walk in, and... Uh, and I look at the people. He goes, you ready? I go, yeah. I throw the script on the floor. He goes, I guess you are ready. He goes, hit it. The dimes was hitting from the left. I was hitting for right. I said, you better like it because you're never going to lick pussy again. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. What does it say lick pussy? I said, write in the script. He picks it up and says, like pussy. I said, well, if you like it, you lick it, right? <laughs> Everyone in the room breaks out. He goes, get out. Get out of my office. I said, well, quick. I get so I'm driving home. Oh. And my agent calls me and says, what did you do to Ridley Scott? <laughs> he, goes, he, goes, he said, you're a brilliant actor, but you got to get off the drugs. I said, I haven't done coke in two weeks. I was serious for this part. Who's he getting it to? Tom Sizemore and Chris Penn. They did a good job. There's no, there's no justice. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's the guys who were like yeah, yeah. up to their neck in coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.